Hey, he, hi. Enough funny business. It's free preset time. That's right, I've got another free DaVinci Resolve preset for you today. It's a super simple effect for an RGB split, just like I just showed off. You can drop it on footage, images, text effects. I'm gonna show off real quick how to install and use it, uh, but then I wanna spend just a little bit uh, diving into Fusion to show you, uh, one, how it was built, it's very simple, but two, to demonstrate sort of a uh, key feature inside Fusion that could be useful uh, if you're working on a ton of custom effects as well. So let's get started. If you follow the download link in the description, that will get you to this SSC RGB split DRFX file. You just double click that and it will load it into DaVinci Resolve, where in your effects library, if you come down to Sterling Supply Company, you will see the effect has loaded in here, RGB split. I have some raw just gameplay here and I can drag that effect right onto it and nothing changes. But since I have my inspector open, you can see now we have the controls for this effect. We have distance and angle. And if I pull up distance, you see if I like just zoom into this text here that it is starting to shift the red and blue channels and it is shifting them uh, in opposite directions. You can see if I pull this up, it's pulling the red channel to the right and the blue channel to the left. Uh, but you can also pull this down so the blue channel comes out to the right. That'll get you this real classic RGB shift effect and something I also recommend, I am clicking to hold and slide these numbers as well. If you hold down control, that'll give you much finer adjustment control. And underneath distance, you have an angle control uh, that will rotate that angle completely around uh, with the blue and the red always staying 180 degrees apart from each other. If you do this on a full video, uh, there's just lots going on. So let's jump over to this text, yay. I can drop the effect on and then hop over to controls and just do a real simple shift and you see now the very clear on the angle that those are just rotating around each other. Uh, you could keyframe and animate either one of these either to uh, increase this distance over time or change it or randomize it and then shift this angle as well. And that's honestly most of the effect. There is one bug that I've run into that I need to mention. I'm hoping this changes and gets resolved, uh, but if not, you need to know about it. I've got a fresh copy of this gameplay here. And if before I do anything, I like zoom in and change my position a little bit, then when I drag on the RGB split effect, um, it will look wrong. It's looking like the blue channel is always going from the default position. If you open it up in Fusion, uh, this is not happening, so it's definitely a bug, but all you need to know is that uh, your video transform options do need to be uh, set to default, and then in effects, you can uh, dial in the effect however you want it, and then if you need to do any major controls, you can always right click, um, render in place or make it a new compound clip and then you could zoom in after the fact. That's cool, but like I said, I wanna show you how this effect works and one really cool thing in the Fusion page, specifically in the default transform node. So I'm going to come back to this text layer that we added the effect on, uh, make sure we are on the effects page of our inspector and we are gonna click uh, this button here to load the effect inside the Fusion page. Now you see we have our media in, which was just this text effect and our media out sending everything in the Fusion page back to the edit page. But if I break open our effect here, you see uh, we have two nodes and these are both default transform nodes. I've renamed them, but you see here are just the default transform options like center. And for each of these, the only thing that we are changing is the center parameter. But I'll go back to this transform control that is controlling uh, the red channel here. And it's controlling the red channel because over here in the settings tab, where you have things like the master blend, you also have a series of buttons to only control a single color channel. If I just zoom in and you look at where this red channel is now, if I click these back on, you can see it is taking the entire image and shifting it to the left. And if I preview just that single node, you see, yes, we moved the entire image to the left. And then the node after that is just moving the blue channel to the right. But I want this RGB split, so I'll uncheck all of those and we're back to normal. Now, the only other thing really going on in this effect is that uh, if I come over, I am controlling the center of each of these transform controls. Uh, with the vector result modifier. This normally just pushes the position and then you can rotate the angle. And I'm doing some bare bones expression work to tie the distances together and to make the angle of the blue channel the opposite of the angle of the red channel. Two transform nodes that I package back up into a macro so you can use it on the edit page. Yay. And hey, another free preset done. Like I said, uh, follow the link in the description that will send you to my Buy Me A Coffee page where this is hosted as a pay what you want extra. 
Small, useful presets like this, I am all about. So if you ever have an idea for a small, useful preset, uh, let me know. Leave a comment on any of my videos or find me on Twitter and I might check it out. But that's all I have for you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.